Alright guys, finally on to game four, and I'm sitting at the lofty heights of the uh, the, the field, really having won three games in a, war a row, and I'm up against another player who's also won three games in a row, and who should it be but Casey from Hamilton, who plays uh, with his Gatorman. I actually played Casey in my only other um, War Machine and Hordes tournament, apart from the Battle Box, uh, you know, event of course, but the Call to Arms event that was uh, earlier on, and um, I had a running with him uh, featuring Ikaya against um, Barnabas, and you guys might remember that battle report if you did watch the Call to Arms series. Uh, Casey beat me handily, he uh, was a better player than me at the time, uh, beat me down, played better than I did, uh, rolled quite well with his dice. Now we are playing again, and it is uh, Diversion, the scenario. So that's where you've got um, a control zone uh, closer to your own sort of table corner, and you've got to capture a flag to your right to um, allow you to contest your enemy's control zone and pick up a point. Casey, however, is playing the newest Gatorman caster called... Um, Maylock, the Dreadbound, I think his name is, correct me if I've got it wrong, but he's the guy that actually makes your gators undead, he can bring back Gatorman to life, he gives them more armor during his feet turn, so he's uh, he's quite solid, and um, I had huge, huge, huge problems with the Gatorman in my last game against him, I know that I will again, I've decided to go for Mosar uh, because I'm fresh off a win with him, and the thing about Mosar is that um, his feet works well against other Horde's armies, I've been led to believe, well, by myself or rather than anybody else, that the feet will actually be a trump card here. And um, even with the tough gators, I'm feeling that, you know, if I use Pillars of Salt right and then throw with, you know, prey target uh, javelins onto the gatorman, uh, run away and maybe um, put some pillars down to stop him, that will be the key to success here. So we'll see how it goes. Next photo, um, Maylock is, um, you know, standing in the middle there. I mean, not going to talk about the deployments too much, except for the fact that he's got his throg further up the field, and he has ambushed me with some bog trog um, ambushes, which I've never faced before. But uh, Casey explained to me at the start of the game that uh, ambush ambushing units aren't so good in radio deployment because they have to come on your own table sides rather than your opponent's, you know, two sides on the diagonal. So he's skeptical about how useful they will be. Next photo, uh, I'm moving out here. Druid's on the right, Blood Trekker's on the left, and because he has to capture the flag on the left, I'm planning on sending most of my forces that way. I believe the single unit of Druid's and Megalith can hold off the other unit of Gatorman on the right by their own, because uh, Megalith is quite tough, and the Force Bolts should be able to push back the Gators a bit, knock them down, and just generally tie them up while I win the game on the left-hand flank. So that's the plan, and um, maybe, you know, putting up a bit of Sun Hammer here to help uh, since he's got three or four he's got four beasts although he won't be getting too close with all of them i suspect next image um casey moving up as fast as he possibly can um he's put spiny growth on a huge number of uh, gators up the front here he's got um he's got another spell going down on them as well which i believe gives them uh, more armor not that they needed any to begin with but um the blood trackers will actually have to throw very very hard to actually hurt these guys um, but I'm going to try my best anyway. I don't really want to get Mosar in there too early because I don't, I don't want to sort of sands of fate the blood trackers this early on because I know it's going to go into the long game. Next image, um, I do indeed attempt this, these, um, the blood tracker throws, pulling down one Gatorman with some decent shots and then putting down four pillars just to block the Gatorman for coming um, you know, through there, and from his shooting too, he's got a uh, a turtle back there who can spit a really annoying corrosive AOE, which will um, devastate me. So I've got to look out for that. Next photo, completely forgot about the bog troggers, and despite the fact that he explained to me which table edge, um, you know, he could bring them on from, they came on right to next to where I put the blood trackers. In you know, my cunning genius here, um, assaulting the well, shooting at the uh, the, the gatorman and pulling back with reform. So he immediately comes onto the side here. They've got powerful charge, which is great with ambush. If you ambush straight away, they're, they're not good for much else. But in this situation, they are worth the wet and cold because they completely foil my plan here. You know, tying up the blood trackers, preventing them from being useful against the gatorman, and um, really stalling me. So. Next photo, uh, the Throg making his way towards the Druids. The Druids can't really combat him in close combat there. They can't force bolt him either because if they do that, they take a point of damage due to his uh, special ability. So it's going to fall to Megalith to deal with this guy. Very annoying. Next image, Megalith does indeed deal to him, charging him, killing him, putting um, a... Um, 
uh, a spell up, can't remember what it was, I think I tried Crevasse or Curse of Shadows or something onto the Gatorman, but the Druids pulled around here as well and Force Bolted a few of them away, getting some really knock lucky knockdown rolls with the doubles there, and uh, that will really buy me a lot of time on this flank, so happy for some luck at least on that side. Next photo, the Bog Trogs uh, dealing to the Blood Trackers. Blood Trackers having to sort of, um, you know, turn around here and throw at them, so taking some casualties both sides. I have taken an AoE with Corrosion um, to the Shifting Stone and the Gorak, so that's hurting a little bit. And Mosar just protecting me at this point with more pillars, just to slow the, um, the Gatterman down, to prevent them from actually charging through to my lines and really wreaking havoc, because if that happens, then I'm really, um, really in trouble. Next photo, um, looking further out into the field here, Gatorman to the left have engaged Megalith at this point, Druid's still hanging back to help out. In the middle I'm just hanging back with the beast, hanging back with Mosar while he moves up. Um, really not getting any good feet opportunities here because he's careful with how much uh, fury he puts out. If I do feet, he'll really only have one fury on each of the big beasts, which isn't really enough to get the good mileage. I need to really wait until he's actually, you know, run them really hot. Uh, and then feet and then hope, hopefully you know put some pillars in the way or something and cause them to attack each other I don't really know but blood track is actually struggling struggling against the uh, the bog troggers because blood trackers aren't as good as the blood uh, uh, in combat and their bog trogs just get to charge every time and get these um, plus two to hits and uh, really just foils me uh, dead straight in the water Next photo, um, to make matters worse, his Feral Geist has actually uh, run over here and contested the control zone, so he picks up a control point. Now, incorporeal uh, troops can't con can't capture a flag, but apparently they can contest a point, a, a zone. So, um, Casey's picking up a, a point here, killing all of the, the trackers and everybody nearby, and um, very annoying. Definitely got the upper hand in this game, so I'm starting to sweat here. If I can possibly hold on the left flank and sweep the right flank, I might be able to sort of get him in the center here. And I've got my beasts um, up and running, so that will be something at least. But with the blood trackers uh, crumpling like um, you know a wet rag, um, he could even win this game of scenario if I'm not careful. Next photo, um, counter-attacking here. I've still got a few blood trackers left. I've, um, they've reduced the number of blood trackers a little bit, but still a desperate fight for the docks. I'm losing that fight. Um, I've headed out with my beast this time, I've got the Gorax, Stalker, and Wald Guardian moved out there, who have crushed the Gator Men in one fell swoop. Killing all of them means he can't revive any, but he's got two heavy war beasts there ready to crush me in return, and uh, the Gator, uh, the, the Bog Troggers will soon have dealt with the Blood Trackers and will be threatening that flag. So um, that's going to be really trouble, and, and Mosa is still powerless to do anything serious. Um, he has put his feet down, but it's only uh, hit, hit the two front beasts. It hasn't even hit the two alligators at the back, so uh, that's even more problems. Next photo is though, um, the, uh, the Megalith actually comes into combat with two of these other um, uh, Gatormen and kills them, and the Druids manage to force bolt the other three, so actually doing quite well here on this flank. I've actually cleared it up a bit, so I'll be able to start moving towards the centre if there's anything left of the centre when they do get there. Next image, uh, Druids moving around again, trying to force bolt um, the, the Gators, um, already sort of talked about in the last photo, but just to explain here again, that's the positioning of it. I've got about, you know, seven guys there force bolting away, even got a devouring off and um, actually managed to, I think, kill one and knock the other two back, so that was quite cool. Next photo, um, just a, a bird's eye view of the battlefield. You can sort of see how bad it is. He's about to get a turn here. Um, probably going to feet. He's going to attack me with his two heavies. The bog truckers are overrunning the, the blood truckers in a bad way. And that, that um, you guys have probably been looking at Bone Swarm tokens both this game. I know Do the Bone Swarm has now come out as a war beast for, for minions in uh, Domination. But he's using these two medium-sized Bone Swarm bases as flags, not as war beasts, because he wasn't allowed to. They're not actually officially out yet, so uh, not in New Zealand anyway or wherever. Um, so he wasn't able to do that. So sorry to confuse you guys with those flag um, markers. Next image, the wrestler moves in onto the old guardian, can't quite kill him, but does some severe amount of damage to him, and uh, burns himself fairly hot. Next photo, we've got a, a little gator charging here at the stalker, doing some damage to him, but not um, crippling him, but um, that's another two focus uh, fury on the little, um, um, whatchamacallit, pet. Next photo, Maylock himself charges in. It turns out Maylock's actually a bit of a beast in combat. Um, he's got some, I don't know if he has any buff spells there, but 
just wasting away on the stalker. He was really expecting to kill the stalker with the, the shot from the, the, the beast in the background and the charge from the smaller gator, but didn't do it, so Malok's had to come in here. Malok, however, is feeting, so he's got even more armor. He's putting buffs on himself. He's keeping fury for transfers, so there's no way I can really retaliate and win there. And losing both of, my, both of my beasts is pretty much a coffin right in the ground. Next image, the Bogtrogs um, move into the back here and... Um, pretty much take out the Gorax. Well, actually, they left them on a couple of boxes by the end of it, but there's only one tracker left, so um, this whole battlefield situation in this photo is just really down the tubes. Um, so if we go to the last photo, and um, forgivingly, um, you know, timeout was called because we'd both taken quite a long time during this game. Um, Casey being a very easygoing player, we didn't actually bother with time turns for this one. But um, I, I, we basically sat, at the, sat looking at the field for about three or four minutes, talking about any way that Mosai could possibly get the win. But there just wasn't anything he could do. He could move over and Sansa fade and all he wanted, but Maylock had three transfers. He was about armor 20 or something like that. And um, the following turn, he was going to wipe the rest of my guys out, capture the flag, and um, contest and score another control point and win. So um, my opponent played better than I did. He was a better player than I was. It was um, not the best matchup. If I'd used Chromac, I would have had to commit much harder, and he would have been able to retaliate, heal beasts, um, and, and, and feet, and do all sorts of stuff to me. So you're really... Um, there aren't a lot of matchups there. there. My two lists are sort of letting slip through the fingers a little bit. So I'll have to come back to the drawing board for the next tournament a little bit as far as that's concerned. But um, Gatorman, very tough. The, the Gatorman posse, very difficult to deal with with my circle. Um, there are probably other ways I can combat him better with other lists, but I just didn't have the answer for him today. And um, end the day with uh, three wins, one loss. Very happy about that at least. But Casey, um, you know, advances to play the, the top player while I have to uh, basically have a game against um, you know, somebody who's 3-1, which will be exciting, and I'll have that for you guys as soon as possible. See you then.